Before we get started, I want to remind you to go to my website, gorgeousstray.com, and download my movie, Master of the Game. Also, my book is available on the site, The Road to Paradise. Those two uh, projects are are filled with great insight and great information about a lot of different subjects and topics and it's something that you should add to your catalog anyway um, a friend called me this morning and uh, he had a dilemma and he said to me he said you know I just uh, got out of this relationship uh, it's ended and I just need to know how to begin my 2014, you know, constructive and progressive. And how do I not make the same mistakes that I did in the relationship? I told him that people have a tendency to resort back to what's comfortable to them. So if you um, are trying to change a condition or flaw, character flaw within yourself, uh, a lot of times that it, it requires some sense of pain to remind you or to uh, give you the ability uh, you know, to change something because of the pain associated with you doing something a certain way. I said, so if you look back and you think about uh, while you were in your relationship and where you are today and the pain that you have, you know, that should give you some incentive. Uh, not to want to have that pain anymore. So a lot of time it requires a certain amount of pain to help a person when they can't help themselves. That's what trials are all about. They're not necessarily to uh, weaken you. They're to strengthen you because they're, they're, they're there to uh, heighten your consciousness uh, about a flaw in yourself. And that trial gives you pain. And so it's something that you remember that pain is something that is memorable, you know. And when you, you know, when you remember how you felt, you don't want to deal with that anymore. You don't want to have no dealing with that feeling anymore. So it encourages you to change something about yourself so that you won't incur that feeling. So I told him, I said, um, you know, as you're starting off your 2014, just remember that pain you had. And that will help you in not making those same mistakes again. I said also, you know, um, you gotta you gotta you gotta find some peace. Peace is a very, very important thing. Peace, uh is a foundation of happiness and joy, excitement, uh, vitality, and peace is, is transferable. Once you have it, people see that you have it. They might not know what it is, but they want to be around it. They like the feeling that they have when they're around you. Peace is transferable because you could allow somebody to feel peaceful in your presence because of the peace that you have. You know? I said, the reason why most people don't have peace is because the constant um, uh, bombardment of uh, the media uh, uh, selling you why you should, why you're not complete. You know, I said, you know, I said, I experience a level of peace because I like myself. That's the key. I really, really like myself. I said, uh, so my ears are kind of uh, numb to the constant bombardment of media selling me something, selling me an idea of why I shouldn't like myself. I said, so that's what's wrong with young girls today, uh, because the media is constantly selling them the idea of why they're not or they should not be complete. You know? So if you get 24 hours of media constantly telling you uh, and showing you images of why you should not be complete with yourself, you become a consumer and you become unhappy and you don't have any peace. I said, but the key 
is to like yourself. And sometimes you got to turn off what the media is constantly selling you. If they're selling you an image, you have to turn that off. See, women is self-image. Men is money. So I told him, I said, so if you're feeling inadequate, it's nine times out of ten because probably your money is a little funny. Men feel adequate, inadequate when their money is funny, most cases. So if you feel inadequate, you can't have any peace. Because the only thing that you have been sold to believe is that the only way that I could feel like I'm somebody is to have me some money. And this money will make me feel like I'm somebody. Then I can have peace with myself. And that's a big trick. A big trick. You have to find peace with yourself because you like yourself. I try to teach my daughters to like themselves because there's such a power within liking yourself. There's no deficiencies when you like yourself. And the insecurities that women have is because they don't like themselves. You can trace it back to you not liking yourself. Oh, my nose is too small, my nose is too big, my lips are too small, my lips are too big. You know, my chi-chis are too big, my chi-chis are too small, my booty is too big, my booty is too small. There's something about you that you're constantly not liking, so you can't find peace. So I told him, you have to learn to like yourself. From that place of liking yourself, then life will just happen. I told him, I said, listen, a lot of people are afraid to make decisions because I'm giving him certain things that he could, you know, line up as some fundamental principles for his 2014. I said, a lot of people are afraid to make decisions for one reason, because they are afraid of the outcome or that the outcome could be failure. And so because they are afraid that the outcome could be failure, they never make a decision. And so when you don't make a decision about your life or in life, you find yourself in this circle. And some people and some of you have been in this circle for 5, 10, 15, some 20 years, this same circle, all based upon your fear of failure. So because you fear failure, you just stay in that little circle that you found yourself. in. You can't get out. You don't know how to. Well, I'm telling you, you have to make a decision. Somebody said, well, what if I fail? Well, that's perception. I think if you make a decision that you, uh, you have success. You said, but the results of this decision that I've made is failure. I said, no, it's not. Have you broken the cycle of that circle? Are you out of it? Yes. Well, you have you've, you've, you've found success. Because if you've broken that cycle of that circle, all that has been in that circle you know about. You know everything about that circle you've been in for multiple years. Now that that circle is broken, guess what? There's new opportunity, new adventure, new outlook, new avenues. Everything is new because that circle is broken and now life seems to be new now. Now you have an opportunity at something. Whereas before, you were just trapped in a circle for multiple years. So it's important for you to make a decision. In 2014, I want you to make a decision for your life. You that have been stuck in a place in your life for 5, 10, 20 years, you've been wondering, how do I get out? How do I get out of this situation that I keep finding myself in over and over and over again? Make a decision that changes that circle. Don't worry about the failure. 
Because if you are courageous enough to make that decision, you've broken the cycle. And when you break that cycle of that circle you've been into, now you intermingle with all new opportunity. And that's what you look, that's what you need. When you ask yourself, how do I get out of this circle? Well, the way you get out of that circle is you make a decision. An opportunity will come to you. Or you will never find peace. Because some of you are looking for external things to try to fix an internal problem. Now, say you're that person. Say you're that man that thinks that if I can just get this money, I can get females and I can get people to be attracted to me and, and so on. Say you achieve that. You will find that after having achieved that, you still have no peace. Say you're that female who feels like if I can just go get this surgery to change something about myself. Hmm? Say you get it. Say you get new boobs or new butt or whatever it is. Say you get that. You will find that maybe momentarily you might have a little joy. You might experience a, a sense of a, a sensation of joy and peace. And, but it will not last. You will find yourself in the same place with your new nose or your new lips or your new boobs or your new butt. You still won't have peace. Remember, peace comes from inside. And you first have to like yourself. Because the world, especially in this country, well, let me just say, because in this country, 24-7, 24, 24 hours a day, you're being promoted to not to like yourself. So that you will be a consumer. You have to feel deficient in some area for you to continue to be a consumer. Once you complete, there's no need to be a consumer anymore. I need to consume something to make me feel better. I need to consume something to make me feel better. I need to consume this product. I need to consume. I need to consume that, and that will make me feel better. You cannot achieve abundance through things. Abundance is inside. Let me say this. I've been a millionaire, and I've been broke. But because I like me, I never changed whether I was rich or broke. Not one time. That's because I like myself. So it's never been the money that has determined the person that I am. I like myself when I had money, and I like myself when I didn't. You have a wonderful New Year's. Think about that for your New Year's.